Hello, welcome back to Carabeg Farmhouse Pottery, the Potter's House. Today I'm I'm making a bowl, a fruit bowl, out of the stoneware clay. And when it's finished, and when it's glazed, hopefully it will come out something like that. The kind of clay that I'm using uh, today has been prepared to use on the wheel. Most clay, when it's first dug from the ground, I have a piece here, as you'll see, is full of small stones and rubbish. And before clay like this can be used for, by the potter on the wheel to make a pot, it has to have all the stones removed. It has to go through a process. So the clay is pure, and when it's put on the wheel, it doesn't rip the potter's hand. We have a problem. Before we can be useful to God, before we can come into a relationship with God, we have something in our lives which is the equivalent of the small stones, the rubbish, in the piece of clay here. And our problem is in our hearts and in our lives. Our problem is that we have sin in our lives. And sin is something that has to be dealt with. The whole purpose of the Lord Jesus coming into the world was to deal with our problem. He was born a miraculous birth. He lived a perfect spotless life. He died a suffering death. And his whole mission of coming to earth was that he might deal with the sin that is in every life. And that's why Jesus had to die. Because the consequences of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, the Bible says. And Jesus came to bear the consequences of I, our sin, of my sin. And Christ Jesus had to come into the world to die for sinners. In fact the Bible says that while we were still sinners Christ died for us. The Lord Jesus had to die to bring us salvation. Let's think a little bit more together about what salvation is. Well salvation is a gift from God. Something he really wants us to have. Something that was secured for us by the Lord Jesus. He paid the price that we might be saved. We might have God's salvation. And to explain it today, I brought along a little friend. A little Russian doll. And she's called Salvation. I remember when I first believed in the Lord Jesus. I knew enough to know that I had found what I was looking for and I knew that I would found the answer to my sin problem. I found peace and I found a hope. But I didn't understand everything about salvation. A little friend here will help us to learn a bit more. What is salvation? Let's see what is inside here. First of all, redemption. To be redeemed is to be bought back. Think of a slave. And for a slave to be released, a price has to be paid. And a price has been paid so we can be redeemed from our sin and bought back for God. The person who has trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ can say, I am redeemed. What else can we find? Forgiveness. To be forgiven. To be forgiven of the wrongdoings in our lives. The wrong thoughts, the wrong actions. The way that we have ignored God. These are all serious things. These are all the things that we have to be saved. Why we have to be saved. God's salvation is salvation from something. 
and it is salvation for something. It's salvation from the judgment of God that we deserve because we are sinners. And it's salvation for God. He saves us for himself. And he forgives us. Forgives us of all our sins. Wonderful word. But what else? Atonement. Atonement means to have our sins covered. To be removed. Our sins and our iniquities, the Bible says, I will remember no more. God will no longer remember the wrong things that we have done. They're completely wiped clean. The slate is wiped clean. And we have received God's atonement. But what else can we find in salvation? Reconciliation. Let our minds go back to that day when a young prodigal son realised that he was a sinner. He needed to go back to his father. He went back knowing that he, had, he was guilty. He went back to God. He went back to his father. And his father was waiting for him with open arms. He received his son back again. He was reconciled to his father. And when we are saved, we are reconciled to God. We're put right with God. And we come back into a relationship with him. And we can call him father. But what else can we find in salvation? Justification. I'm going to read something to you from God's word, the Bible. About justification. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Justified through being a good person? No. Justified by being what we do? No. Justified by, by praying? By going to church? No. Justified by faith. Faith alone. And when we exercise faith in the Lord Jesus and what he has done for us, we have peace with God. The wonderful peace with God that God wants us to have and to enjoy. What else do we find in salvation? Adoption. We know, don't we, what it means for a child to be adopted into a family, received into a family. And when we are saved, we are adopted into God's family. God becomes our father. And other brothers, other Christians become our brothers and our sisters. We are all part of God's family. But what else do we find in salvation? Sanctification. It's a long word, but a simple meaning. It simply means to be set apart for God. But what else? New creation. Every Christian is a new creation. Let me read to you again from God's word. From the second letter of the Corinthians, chapter 5. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. A new creation. That's a wonderful thing. And right at the heart of our Russian doll, we find child of God. Every person who is saved has become a child of God. What a wonderful thing salvation is. It's, it's redemption. It's forgiveness. It's atonement. It's reconciliation to, be, to come back to God. It's justification. It's to be adopted back into God's family. It's to be set aside for God. It is to become a new creation. And it is to become a child of God. And all this is a gift from God. Because the Lord Jesus earned it for us when he died for us on the cross. It's something to have. It's something to rejoice in. It's something to live for. And it's something to live by.
This is what salvation is. And I hope that everyone who's listening to this today will have it for yourself and be saved by grace. Are you saved through faith and not of yourself? It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yes, there are many wonderful things to learn about salvation. But let's just stick to the simple truth, shall we? First of all, you and I need to be saved. We need to be saved because of the sin that's in our lives. Sin is serious. Salvation comes from God, who loves us. He loves us so much that he sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into this world to suffer as a man of sorrows and to go to the cross to die for us, bearing our sins, being punished for our sins. And there upon the cross the Lord Jesus cried out and said, It is finished. Salvation is freely offered to all who come believing. So, why not receive it by faith today? And let God, who is the master craftsman, make something out of us, something wonderful, out of our lives. Now I'm going to finish a little bit more work on the pot that I'm making. Mm -hmm.